Do you like the shape, style, or just the comfort of a Tele-style guitar, but you're a hard rock or metal player? Maybe you're looking for something with 24 frets and a hot humbucker. And maybe you're also on a budget, but you don't want something too inexpensive that you're just gonna have to modify and put more money back into. So you want all that stuff and you want it straight out of the box. Well, LTD has got you covered. This is the LTD TE201 from the 201 series and I have been loving it since the day it arrived. Although this guitar was provided to me from zounds.com for the purpose of this review, I specifically picked it out. And as always, all opinions and statements in this video are my own. Let's take a closer look and get some specs and then we'll see how she sounds. Crafted in Indonesia, the TE201 comes with a black satin mahogany body and a bolt-on three-piece maple neck. The neck is a 25 and a half inch scale, thin U-shaped profile with roasted Jatoba fretboard. The radius is 13.77 inches or 350 millimeters. It comes with 24 extra jumbo frets, a 42 millimeter plastic nut, and LTD tuners. You get a fixed bridge that was set up really nice and low right out of the box with short grub screws, so no palm gougers on this one. You get one master push-pull volume to split the active mounted ESP designed passive LH150 humbucker that is nice and hot at 16.2K ohms and 8.21 split, and it comes in a very cool antique to nickel finish. You get all black hardware, and the output jack is interesting. I'm not sure if ESP does this with any of their other guitars, but it has a strat style jack plate routed into the bottom, recessed a little bit, and I really dig that. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Now, I know what I said at the beginning that this is a very metal guitar, and it is. I mean, just look at it. It screams metal. But it doesn't really matter. It's obviously versatile with the tones, and you can play just about anything on it. I'm sure you noticed, but it is a string through body. It is not a top loader, and the fretboard does look bound, but I can't really tell if it's just painted that way or if it's actually really binding. The tuners are really good, and I've had no tuning issues with the plastic nut. Now this is the first LTD guitar I've put my hands on probably in about 13 years and I honestly forgot how nice they are. Everything about this guitar was fantastic, right out of the box, and if this is the kind of quality I should expect from LTD, I'll be checking out a lot more. The only thing that would have made this very black guitar even better is a darker fretboard, maybe like ebony or purple heart. But the roasted Jatoba is nice and it's just fine. There's literally nothing about this guitar that I dislike. 
If you'd like me to check out some other LTD guitars, let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can get from Zounds. This guitar currently sells for $479 and if you're interested in purchasing this guitar, there is an affiliate link in the description and Zounds offers affordable payment plans with or without a credit check. Now it costs you nothing more to use that link and it gives me a little bit of kickback that I'll use towards the channel. Honestly, I think I might hold on to this one. I've, uh, I've grown quite attached to it. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more content and reviews like this, you know what to do. We'll see you next time.